Meow. Meow. Hi, it's Penny Bowden here, crazy cat artist. Just starting with gentle shapes for this kitty looking down. And I'm going three times the speed and voicing over. Just making sure everything's in the right place. I love to hear from you, so please drop me a comment, especially about what you want to learn about cat drawing. And if you drop me that kind of comment, then please put video idea right at the beginning so I can notice it quickly. Or just tell me about yourself or your cat or where you live in the world or whatever. It's great to connect with other crazy cat artists around the world. Just gentle lines at this stage and that way it's easy to make corrections. Just want that face down kind of looking up, I guess. Really got to think about each line because some lines you definitely want stronger and some you want to keep gentle. Especially around the mouth. Because it really doesn't show up a whole lot and if you make it show up a lot it just it looks out of place. Bit of shading here and there. It's just a, a simple drawing, a gesture. Hints of hair here and there. One of the most frequent questions I get asked is, can you show me how to draw hair? Well, <laughs> I, I don't really draw hair. I just draw suggestions of hair. If, it, if it's fitting to draw hair in a certain place to draw attention to some, somewhere, um, that's when I draw just the suggestions of hair. We know it's a cat. We know it has hair. Our eye tells our brain that that's what it is. And a bit of a suggestion of markings here too. And you notice how the the extra lines that, like between the eyes and that there, you see a bit of extra lines when I was finding my way. It kind of helps shape the cat. It adds some background tone. If you've got too much, get your eraser out. Just do what works for you. It's really about finding your own way. Finding your style as a cat artist. And add some whiskers here, there, and everywhere. Thanks for watching, and I hope to see you again next time.